we have Vivi versus Venia, one of the most classic New York City rivalries. Um, Venia has a very, very consistent like set lead over Vivi, opting to go through PS2, very, very neutral stage for both. And right now, you see both of these characters like using most of their movement to just dance around each other. Venia landing a dash attack into an up air. And that was really, really interesting because he didn't connect the final hit, but he also didn't get the drag down either. And that was a great drag down up air at ledge from Venia at that moment because uh, if he just timed his down tilt a little bit differently or maybe VV drifted a little bit differently, that would have been big damage. Right now, Venia committing off stage with the back here is really, really well. Uh, but uh, missing the lead just ever so slightly um, and VV able to get back to stage. And right now VV just needs to get something started with the dash attack. Wow, dash attack opening up opportunities for the attack chase like that. Really, really great. Um, I love that jump from VV. He just knows that Venya is going to go for an up smash and Greninja's up smash can cover the entirety of the PS2 platform. But in that instance, he was not ready for it. And um, Venya able to get the kill off that way. And I just love the way that Venya is just able to mix up a lot of his moves that you really wouldn't think would follow up into each other. But he just catches your drift, he catches the way you're DIing things really, really well. And he's just able to keep things so fresh. It's so difficult to adapt to Venya's play. Great tech from Vivi. Really, really aware of the fact that Venya is going to go through those drag down up airs. And he got a double drag down. Double drag. Now, that was definitely something super difficult to tech because. Wow, there was just so much just happening in that one and two action that I, I don't even have words for it. But right now, Venia just like controlling all of stage. Vivi, unfortunately, not getting the second hit of his down air. Great call out on the counter, uh, going with the grab. And right now, Vivi is keeping Venia at ledge. Venia with the um, great use of his jump to get back on. <gasps> Was that a footstool? Well, regardless, uh, Venia is still able to get right back onto stage, going through the back throw just to knock him off oh, just ever so slightly. VV recovering above the stage because, you know, if he, Venia uh, trumped him, you know, that would have spelled a back air and easily the end of the stock for sure. Um, something VV has to be very, very careful of is not to throw out that fully charged neutral be at long distance because Venia can counter that and actually sweep him across the stage for it. And the up throw more than enough to take out VV stock, um, especially considering the rage on the character at 160% was absolutely nuts. Um, so right now, VV is building up that aura. If he can close off the stock from Venia, you're going to see a lot of the momentum that VV is also known for on his last stock situations. And in that case, Venia not going through the drag down up air, going just to connect more and more up airs. VV already at 46%. VV is, Venia is doing an amazing job. Huh. That was really interesting. And in that case, like the fact that Venia slightly misspaced his up air worked out for him because he was still able to get a whiff punish on the counter. Wow. That down tilt into up smash. That was nuts. That was so early. That was really, really great. Uh, uh, um, gosh, I'm, I'm just gushing over both of these players. They, they just keep outplaying each other. And, and they just both go through these amazing things, but Venia's momentum is definitely something that is just unmatched, you know, because he's able to constantly keep things fresh, he's able to constantly mix, he's maximizing his damage output, and he's always constantly, like, turning up the aggression and the heat, making sure you never comfortable at a given moment, and then suddenly he starts playing back. Um, I think it's a very bold choice from Vivi to stick to Lucario. Uh, Vivi recently hasn't been feeling too confident in Lucario. He's been going hero a lot more in bracket. You see him also messing around with Terry for like five minutes as well. Um, Venya not able to string along an up air into another up air. Great air dodge from Vivi. And Vivi getting a little bit of chip damage with the forward air into a forward air. Not setting up the proper attack chase situation with the dash attack. A little too low of a percent. But if Vivi gets another dash attack, it might be a little too high and Venya would get knocked up a little too far. <gasps> Amazing jab lock. Not quite enough to take out the stock. That would have been absolutely nuts. And I love the fact that Venya keeps going through those up B win boxes. Because if Vivi does choose to prematurely up B, he will be just drifting in space and like giving Venya all of this time to punish him for it. So it's very, very menacing indeed. 
me just see like Venya like going through these down tilts because you know a down tilt can mean a forward and a down tilt can mean an up smash, especially on a stage like PS2 where it just sets up a tech chase. Um, so I just love the fact that Venya like knows what his character does. He knows what he should be looking for, and like with these running up down tilts. But Vivi in this set, I feel like right now for game one he's holding a lot more of his own. Um, that's forward is not quite enough to kill, but the back kill certainly is. And Venya is just like able to chase Vivi's drift. And I feel like Vivi has to be a, a lot more careful. He has to be a little bit farther into the edges of the blast zone. Because Greninja can just commit. Wow. Great counter. That, you know, this is definitely enough to clean up the stock. Um, Venya trying to get something started again with the dash attacks, with the down tilts, maybe with the falling back hills. He can get a little something something as well. Um, yeah, but right now Vivi is piling up the damage and suddenly the game is even, except considering the fact that Vivi controls all of center stage but gave it up just to charge a little bit more of his aura sphere. And right now, oh, man, the fact that Venio is just like always so on his froggy, slimy toes to like know when he's setting up those tech chase situations just shows off his experience and knowledge of the character. It's genuinely phenomenal, but right now, this is really scary for Venia. Vivi holding him at ledge, keeping him at the corner. Vivi has had all the momentum, but right now it's back to neutral, back to center stage. Both of these characters are at reasonably even percents, but then also consider the fact that Lucario can kill extremely early. Vivi not dying to the up smash quite yet. Venya opting for an up air instead of a forward air. Um, just, you know, again as a mix up. But wow. I believe that was a charging hit of the neutral being to the up air. Regardless, it's a great way to clean off the stock. Um, you know, fantastic call out on the on the uh, air dodge ledge. Vivi missing with the ledge somehow. Wow, that was definitely unexpected for sure. Um, Right now, Venya already bringing this game back from a stock deficit. Like, not getting really any conversion started, but just a little damage here, a little multi-hit there. I, I mean, just the way that Venya is able to constantly keep up this level of focus, this level of aggression, this set is phenomenal. You know, Vivi starting to play a little bit more defensively now, trying to play out of shield. But you have to be really, really careful against Greninja, especially considering that so many of his options are safe on shield like that. And Vivi is trying to call out some kind of a jump with those forward airs and down airs, but unable to properly get the call out. Um, and Venya instead just opting to just whiff punish. But right now, this is a very, very scary situation for Venya. Uh, Vivi is at 160%. Oil is going to start to kick in. That forward air, not enough to take it quite yet. Um, great choice to opt for the low recovery, otherwise, he would have been really affected by that win box. But zoomed off into unpredictable distances. Wow. I have no words for that. Venya just hit him with that up air, waited, and then called out his jump like that. That is some kind of mix. That is, wow, amazing. But now, granted, Vivi did a fantastic job this set. He was able to get a lot of his conversions down. Like, especially with the aforementioned neutral B into up air. Um, that was really, really great. Um, but I feel like maybe Vivi got a little overwhelmed in this set specifically by Venya's aggressive options. Um, you know, the like, just the fact that Greninja was, like, sometimes you just see, like, Venya approaching you really, like, menacingly just by, like, walking up really methodically, re like, with so much intentionality. He's just ready to react or ready to cover so many of the options at once. Um, 